Once upon a time, there was a king who ruled over a kingdom. He had a minister who was very wise. He was an extremely intelligent and witty man. He often helped people who were in trouble. Because of these qualities, he was loved by all. The king and the minister were riding through the countryside. They were enjoying the fresh air and the beautiful views. As they approached a small village, they noticed a crowd of people gathered, looking worried. The king stopped and said, Let's see what's going on here. A villager stepped forward, looking anxious. He said, Your Majesty, our river has dried up. We don't know why, and we need water for our crops. The minister looked thoughtful. Then the king said, Let's find out what happened. The villagers led the king and the minister to the riverbank. There, they saw that the riverbed was completely dry. In the middle of the river, a large rock was blocking the water. The minister said, It looks like this rock is stopping the water from flowing. Let's move it and see if the water comes back. The villagers nodded and began to help. Together, they pushed and rolled the big rock until it was clear of the river. Suddenly, they heard a splash and water started to flow again. A villager said happily, The water is back. The villagers cheered, their faces filled with joy. The king smiled and said, You solved this problem quickly. Your ideas always help. The minister said, It was teamwork. Your Majesty. Everyone helped. The king nodded, grateful for the minister's quick thinking. And then they continued their journey. One day, a messenger from a neighboring kingdom entered the court. He was holding a beautifully decorated cage. The messenger said, Your Majesty, I come bearing a gift from your neighbor king. The king asked, What do you have? The messenger opened the cage to reveal a talking parrot. The messenger said, This is a special parrot. It can speak many words and share stories. The minister stepped forward and said, Let's hear what it can say. The parrot flapped its wings and squawked. Hello. I am here to tell tales. The courtiers laughed, and the king smiled broadly. The king said, What a delightful gift. This parrot will bring joy and laughter to our court. In the palace garden, the king sat back in a comfortable chair with the parrot on his shoulder. The minister stood next to him. 
He was eager to hear what the parrot would say. The king asked, What stories do you have for us today? Little parrot? The parrot puffed up its feathers and squawked. Once upon a time, in a land full of magic, there was a clever fox. This fox outsmarted a hungry wolf by tricking him with some yummy cheese. The king asked, How did the fox do that? The parrot said, The fox found a way to hang the cheese high in a tree. When the wolf tried to reach it, he got stuck. The minister laughed loudly and said, That wolf must have felt so silly. The parrot replied, Oh yes. And while the wolf was stuck, the fox shared the cheese with all the animals in the forest. The king laughed and said, A true hero. This parrot is a great storyteller. The parrot puffed its chest proudly and said, More stories are coming. The king and the minister both smiled. And the king patted the parrot's head. One morning, the servant entered the parrot's room with a bowl of seeds. As he opened the cage, he noticed something was wrong. The servant said, Oh no! You look so weak. What happened to you, little one? The parrot sat quietly, its feathers drooping. It didn't chirp or flap its wings as usual. The servant carefully reached into the cage and stroked the parrot's head. The servant said, Take this little medicine. This will make you feel better. He gently gave the parrot a few drops of medicine. The parrot closed its eyes and snuggled into the corner of the cage. After giving the medicine, Adam noticed the parrot still seemed weak and had not recovered. So Adam nervously approached the king in the court, bowing deeply. The king noticed his worried face and raised an eyebrow and asked, What's the matter, Adam? The Adam said, Your Majesty, the parrot seems unwell. I gave him medicine but he's not eating or chirping. The king's expression darkened. He sat up straight, his voice booming across the court. The king said, That parrot must recover. I don't want to hear anything else. Adam swallowed hard, sensing the king's rising anger. The king added, Listen carefully. If anyone dares to bring me the news of the parrot's death, the king's eyes burned with fury. I will have him beheaded. Adam bowed again, his heart racing. The king waved his hand and Adam quickly left the court. The next morning, when Adam went to check on the parrot, 
he found it lying lifeless in the cage. His heart sank with fear. Adam said to himself, If I tell the king, he will behead me. I must go to the minister. He will know what to do. With trembling hands, Adam ran to find the minister. Adam came running to the minister. He looked very worried. What is the matter, Adam? The minister asked. The parrot has died. In spite of all my care, it is now lying dead in its cage. Are you sure it is not just taking a little nap? Asked the minister. No, sir. I am sure the parrot is dead. Please tell me some way to face the king. Said Adam. Don't worry and go back home. I will inform the king of the parrot's death. And run the risk of getting hanged. Assured the minister. Adam thanked him and went back. Later in the day, the minister went to the king's court and said to him, Your Majesty, I have just visited the parrot given to you by the ruler. It is truly a holy parrot. I found it immersed in deep thought, lying on its side. The king was really surprised to hear this. He said, If what you say is true, it is really a thing to wonder at. I would go and see it with my courtiers. As soon as the king saw the parrot, he knew that the parrot was dead. Anyone can see that the parrot is dead. And don't tell me that you did not know it. Yes, your majesty. But I did not want to be hanged. Therefore, I had to take recourse to this method. Everything that is born dies. And you must not punish Adam for the death of the parrot, said the minister. The king understood the minister's reason for lying. He smiled and said, I forgive Adam, and I will give you some suitable reward for it. Thus, the minister was able to save a life by his intelligence.